Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the second in a series of videos on the topic Libertarianism, the new look of America. This series was written by me, Alice B. Claggett. Here is the main topic of this video. Economic stressors that may lead to decentralization of the United States government. I have some thoughts on the state of the nation. Intuitively, I sense economic stressors that may gradually lead to our federal government taking a lesser role in the governance of the United States compared to the role of regional alliances of states. This might be, just to put it into perspective, more of a libertarian notion of the ruling of the United States, still within the plan of our democracy, but rather different in emphasis from what we've known for a long time as the, the democratic-republican uh, dichotomy. All this time, Greenpeace and, and libertarianism have been on our ballot, so we know that it, they are part of the democratic process. Only the look and feel of them is quite different, and it may cause us to wonder really what's happening in the coming years. In the coming times, I see the federal government continuing to provide military defense, social security payments, and leadership in foreign affairs. I also see states taking more initiative in regard to economics for their regions. As to trade, I see future reliance on established railroad routes and water routes such as the Mississippi River. I anticipate that should there be a gradual lessening of federal power, then there might be more trade within an economic region and less trade globally and nationally. As to finance, I see potential reliance on barter with care not to place our financial assets in overseas locations. Local employment-based credit unions may come into favor as regional savings repositories. There may be more reliance on those economic sectors that hold strong during recessions, such as locally grown food, locally obtainable building materials, and water supplies not piped in over long distances. As to economic stressors, I suggest the overarching stressor of the COVID-19 pandemic, the slowly building economic impact of the HIV pandemic, and stress of regional aridity due to long-distance water transport costs. A socially disruptive stressor is handheld psychosis, which may lead to chaotic events such as mass murders and actions by public utilities, local law enforcement, and the military regarding perceived dangers that do not truly exist. This might precipitate social unrest, especially in regions of the United States pinpointed by the Jade Helm exercises. Well, that's the end of the second videos in this series. And coming up is video on the topic, caveats regarding possible loci of social unrest. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.